Now you didn't come from a background that was focused on anything that had anything to do with quantum science really, or consciousness endeavors. So how did you get involved in a program like we were involved in? One that would lead us to India in studying under Dr. Amit Goswami and really exploring things that were were new, at least in your vocabulary and where you were headed. What even got you to that point as someone who was exploring? Yeah, good question. Um, I think you're right. So background, you know, I, I, I took mechanical engineering um, in university. I liked how things worked. I, 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 you know, I was hook, line and sinker into a materialist world, right? Um, being the only thing that matters is matter, not like consumerism, materialism. So maybe just kind of distinguish between those two and how I use the word material um, is not really consumerism. It's it's that the only thing that matters is matter. And so um, and I was hook, line and sinker in that world. I mean, I mean, even to a certain degree, uh, my dad had this license plate that said he who dies with the most toys wins. Right. So, you know, this is how. I, I engage in life. This is how I come to a, come of age, and I'm like, okay, so how do I make sure I die with the most toys, kind of thing, and and how do I maximize my life experience in this physical domain, which is the only thing I thought existed, you know, I, 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 I you know, yeah, the only thing that existed was the physical realm for a very long time. Now there was you know, intuitive moments from time to time that uh, even when I finished university, I thought, okay, we've got a good handle on matter. Like as a society, we really understand matter. Um, you know, we send people to the moon or Mars or whatever we do or probes. Um, um, but what about energy? And and that equation E equals MC squared, right? Like what about energy? Where Where is our understanding of energy in that equation? And um, I, I, I probably got some answers at the time, you know, I'm, you know, mid 20s. I didn't probably pay enough attention to the answers at the time. I remember watching the show, What the Bleep Do We Know, which is where I was first introduced to uh, Amit and those I and, and the ideas around it. Um, I thought it was cool. Um, didn't know how that would relate to me and my life on a daily basis. So, you know, it was kind of entertainment at the time. And then, um, you know, 20 years later, 15 years later, a, a friend of mine, um, hmm, yeah, kind of tragic too. So a, a friend of mine passed away, um, actually, uh, actually committed suicide. Um, um, yeah. He, uh, transparency? Yes, that's is our the theme. theme. That's our theme. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, well, he, 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 he shot his head off with a shotgun. So the transparency is a the theme. I mean, this is not something you normally say in our world. This is where you say he committed suicide and move on. But, um, you know, definitely a very aggressive form of transitioning or ending, um, you know, a human experience that he couldn't figure out. Um, so his partner at the time recommended I read Joe Dispenza's book, uh, Becoming Supernatural. And so um, so I read it and, uh, and then got reacquainted with, you know, um, I use the word esoteric knowledge. Um, I think it, to me, points in the best direction. Um, I don't know that metaphysics covers it. I don't know that Indian spirituality or quantum physics, like, it, it, to me, it's all esoteric. It, it requires a certain propensity um, and a certain curiosity to really explore in this realm. Um, and, and so, yeah. Um, and then paying attention to Amit, got some information about the school that they were starting and said, hey, um <laughs> okay again transparency um so it was shortly after my friend and and uh you know finances um were tighter in our family 
at the time. And, and I did tell my wife, I said, I need to take this course. I need to do it because I don't want to end up like Paul, you know? And um, so that's how I kind of got approval to do it. And, um, you know, fortunately, finances have now worked out. But at, at the time, it was a very tough decision to uh, to commit financially to something that you really couldn't afford. But uh, the alternative in terms of potentiality, wasn't that attractive. 